when he first read the script, what attracted you the most to make you want to do this film? Uh, for me, uh, the role, it's, uh, it's such a rich character. You, you know, she really uh, goes through so many uh, different versions of herself. You, you know, she's actually, she's a failed actress in, in Los Angeles and she's found this resort and here, really, she's kind of found the ultimate stage and she's able to... Uh, to play all these various roles that she's always longed to do in, in, in her in her real life, and so when we when we first meet her, she's quite sweet and unassuming, and she, right till the very end, where she's far more primal and feral and and and, 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 and manipulative and, and and everything in between, and so it was just such a such an incredible opportunity. And how about you? I, I was excited to play a character who um, I just come off of playing. A Viking on 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 the Northmen and a, a character who has a lot of agency and uh, drive and is very proactive. Um, so it was exciting to play a character like James, who is more reactive than proactive and who is easily manipulated, as opposed to manipulating, um, and and is 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 as, as a definitely a much lower testosterone level than Amleth in the Northmen. Um, so. It was. It felt like a really exciting project to do after the Northman. For the explicit scenes, you had an intimacy coordinator on set. Is that right? Um, how was it working with, with with an intimacy co coordinator? How does it how does, that, how does it work? How do you prepare for those scenes? Yeah, well, that it's quite a new addition to to set. Uh, I actually don't find it personally all that helpful um, to, to talk around the scene particularly all that much. Sometimes it's, it's better to just do it and if something feels off then we can uh, discuss that in, in the middle of, of, of making the scene but uh, you know it's nice it's, it's, it's nice to know that she's there but uh, it, it's, it's not really it's, uh, it's not something that I uh, find particularly useful. And Brandon was very, we, we, we definitely had plenty of conversations about the sequence and Brandon um, in detail explained how he wanted to shoot it with Kareem Zane, the cinematographer, and explained it and explained the tone of it. And so um, uh, it, it's important to, to create a safe environment where everyone feels that they're uh, um, they, going into it, you know what you're doing and what the, the end result will be. I just talked to Brendan and he said there's an, a rated version and an unrated version and it's not clear which version will come into the German cinemas. What would you tell the people who decide which version is going to be shown? I, I kind of want to downplay the difference between the NC-17 and the R-rated version because it's minimal. It's a few frames, uh, so it's not like a whole different cut. The movie's 15 minutes shorter, you're going to miss out on a lot of great stuff. It's it's literally a few frames here and there, um, and um, so I actually I don't know which version they'll they'll show here in Germany, uh, but I've seen both and I think they're both very impactful. So um, and 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 Brandon was obviously part of making the R-rated version as well and cho choosing the images that they replaced the ones they had to replace with. So. It's, it's, it's definitely still a, a, a Brandon Cronenberg film. Okay. What about the future? What can we expect from you next? Uh, well, I'm getting ready to shoot Maxine, which is the third film in, in the trilogy of X Pearl and or X and Pearl and being directed by Ty West. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just right in the middle of pre-production and uh, it's going to be a, a really wild Fun movie. I'm, I'm going straight back to my son bit at the Pakolka Resort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what are you expecting from tonight's screening? Um, I'm, I couldn't be more excited. We had the premiere at Sundance last month, but to come to Berlin, one of my favorite cities, with this type of movie, it feels like the perfect fit. So I expect a night of 
debauchery and madness and mayhem. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Thank you very much, much for the interview. Good luck with the film. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.